Welcome back. And now to our final conversation this morning, we're moving to the political chaos and crisis in the People's Democratic Party. Uh, we're going to be joined this morning by Mark Adebayo, uh, who's going to be speaking on this. Good morning, Mr. Adebayo. Good morning. Mr. Adebayo, can you hear us? Good morning. While we try to reconnect with our guest, um, I think we should put some clarity regarding the situation. So we know that on Monday, a River State High Court, you know, barred Uche Secundus, national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, from parading himself as the chairman. Yes. Now, that seemed to have created a vacuum within the PDP's leadership space. But then Uche Secundus went on to say that he would challenge that in court, he would file an appeal. So what's happened now is that, um, according to the PDP constitution, the person who's the deputy national chairman south, no, actually, the person who's the deputy national chairman of the area where the current national chairman is would take over. And being from the south, it means that the, per the deputy national chairman of the south would step in. Yeah. And in this case, it's supposed to be uh, Mr. Yeah, Akinwomi. Yeah, yeah, me Akinwomi. Exactly. Now, Akinwomi came out to say that he is now the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party. But the deputy national chairman north came out to say that's wrong. His claims are that Akinwomi have not been active in the PDP for the past nine months, that Akinwomi has not attended any meeting in the past nine months, and because of that, he is not a fully functional member of the APC, of the PDP, and that he's stepping in because the, AP, the PDP, why do I keep saying APC? Because according to him, the PDP constitution goes on to say that in the absence of the deputy national chairman, that comes from the region of that you know, national chairman, yeah. the one from the north can step in. So that's what's happened here with the old chaos, and that's why we have two national chairmen of the PDP. Mr. Adebayo, welcome back. Uh, Mark Adebayo, can you hear us? All right, so just before we, well, as we struggle to connect with him, let's uh, quickly, of course, share this uh, report with you on uh, the current PDP crisis. The recognized leader of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Secondus, is fighting the battle of his political career. This culminated in Monday's order given by Justice Okobule Basama of the State High Court sitting in River State, suspending him as the party's chairman. But that isn't the end of the PDP's leadership crisis as Secondus Deputy Yemi Akinwomi has announced himself as the party's new chairman. He addressed a news conference at the Motala Mohammed Airport on his way to Abuja. Section 5. Bracket 3B of the Constitution of the PDP, the people empower me to summon and preside over party meeting in the absence of national chairman. In the absence of national chairman. Two, our attention has been drawn to yesterday evening court order, which purportedly restrained our national chairman, Prince Uche Secondus, from summoning so presiding over meetings of the national organ of the party. Okay. Okay. It's not my making. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the foregoing circumstance, as the Deputy National South, Deputy National Chairman South, which is number one okay. of the People's Democratic Party, after due consultation and in the exercise of aforesaid power, hereby deeming fit, and uh, proper to postpone the National Working Committee meeting earlier said for today till, no, till further notice. When asked if he blames seconders for the development in the party and whether it will affect the PDP's chances at the 2023 election, this is what he had to say. Well, I don't, I'm not from the culture that you don't blame your boss. Seconders is, my, seconders is my boss. I don't blame him. And I'm not there myself. I don't know what happened there. When you say somebody is a chairman, there are people who are working, they are lining up there, they are there permanently. So as a chairman, as a boss of the party, they are just to, to make it put and to direct affairs. You are not to do the work. People doing the work, they are there. So it will not affect them in any form. Earlier, before the court ruling, pro seconders members led by the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum and Sokoto State Governor Amino Tambuwao insisted that seconders should be allowed to end his tenure. Jacinta Obiuku for Plus TV Africa.
Welcome back. Um, thanks, Justin Tabika, for that report. Uh, once again, Mr. Mark Adebayo, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Can you hear us, Mr. Adebayo? Um, if you could kindly um, unmute your, your device, please, so we can hear you clearly. All right. Um, I think because of the time that we have left, uh, Mr. Debar, I think we'll just have him share his thoughts on uh, the crisis and how this affects the PDP, because most of the conversations are with regards to the build-up to the 2023 um, elections. Um, mm -hmm. I guess Ellie had said that, you know, this really just shows that a lot of these, um, um, you know, politicians are really only fighting for their personal interests, and that's why they are finding it difficult to put their house in order, um, in, you know, so at least they can have a stronger opposition or have a stronger uh, house, um, you know, and uh, a lot of people will be concerned, you know, about which opposition party will be able to stand, um, so, you know, with, you know, against rather the APC in 2023. Um, there's a couple of, um, you know, questions that I wish that we'll have time to throw in, and that is re with regards to leaders of the party and what they really have to say about some of all of this drama. Um, the uh, Tiku Abubakas, the Bukola Sarakis uh, from President Goodluck Jonathan, who really hasn't been you know, so active with the PDP lately. Um, but some of all of that, you know, are little details here and there that are important. Um, and to also know if the PDP will survive this chaos, um, you know, because with, you know, when, when there is, you know, this level of, you know, drama happening within the party, sometimes it might just get people to, get more people to even leave the party. As we've seen in the last, you know, one or two years with people defecting to the APC. Um, so it's, it's um, shocking, you know, and, you know, really, really well, sad. Not really shocking, in my opinion. It reminds party. me of what happened in the APC last year. Similar, similar things are happening in the APC, where, you know, there was a crisis with the national chairman, the National Working Committee, and that's even how Mayim Alabuni became the national chairman of the caretaker committee. But let's hear what Mr. Adibayo thinks. Mr. Adibayo, can you hear us now? Yes, I can. Okay, let's quickly get your comments regarding this constitutional crisis within the People's Democratic Party. Uh, well, you see, um, this crisis, each time there is a, a, an election is, is near, you know, within these uh, political parties, is something that's not good for our democracy. And uh, as you can see, they are even acting un unorganized. Look at the man, the so-called uh, Deputy National Chairman Staff. You know, they ask him a question, he, he said he doesn't, he doesn't know, and all those... How could you say you don't know if you are supposed to be deputy chairman, national chairman to your national chairman? So, uh, some of these things, uh, is, I mean, people should just learn. They have a constitution. Let them follow their constitution. And unfortunately, PDP as the major opposition political party in the country is not putting its acts together. And that is counterproductive to our democracy. So I think the, the earlier they sort out their issues, the better. What, what do you think might be the main goal of those who are currently challenging uh, Uche Secondas? You know, do you think that they're doing it because they believe he's not um, being able to pull the party, you know, or being, you know, make the party stronger in the time that he has been chairman? Um, it is a, go ahead. It is, it is political stupidity to be fighting that kind of, that kind of fight when elections are so near as an opposition political party. It, they, they are just playing into the hands of the ruling party. That's it. I mean, it is. It is I, I see nothing beneficial to them in this. All this internal crisis. It will further jeopardize the chances of the PDP. So that's that's my thought on that. Uh, thank you so much. So how do you think this actually ends, uh, Mr. Adebayo, in just a minute? Because it, it's it seems to be a matter of how they interpret the constitution of the of the party. You know, the constitution of the party says that. In the absence of the national chairman, the deputy national chairman from the region of the national chairman would step in, which in this case is Akimumi. But um, Naz Nazif is now saying that that deputy national chairman South has not been an active member of the PDP for the past nine months, and that's why he's stepping in. They have to have, they have to look for a political solution to all these crises. They immediately they have to have, to find political solutions. Without that the PDP will further go down and scatter. And that would be unfortunate for our democracy. If the biggest uh, opposition party in the country should go down that way. So that's why I say it's political stupidity for them to allow this type of crisis so close to the election. 
Okay, or, lastly, um, Mr. Adebayo, did you think this um, other political parties in Nigeria, like, you know, these youth parties, um, should be able to, you know, take advantage of these, this opportunity, you know, to build up their own following leading up to the elections? Absolutely. And then there are going uh, contacts and uh, discussions around that. All right. Mark Adebayo, thank you very much for your time this morning. We yeah, apologize, uh, apologize yeah, for the, yeah, the yeah. timing on the network. Uh, have a great day ahead. And uh, I think this is where we'll be wrapping up. Uh, we wish we had a longer time to have the conversation. And we will, of course, um, you, know, um, you know, set up you know, a bigger conversation concerning this crisis and also issues concerning security as uh, you know, days and the week pass. If you missed out on any of these conversations, remember to catch up on our social media platforms. It's pretty simple, at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. And same with our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. Yes, and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, if you're not following that YouTube channel already. Um, thank you very much for watching. I am Annetta Felix. And I am Osao Ogbawan. See you at night.